and uh, attribution devices. Good. People can use it for what they want. Uh, it illustrates down and out in Ada County, a textbook over there. You just have to attribute it to me. Very good. It's a good example. He chose the Creative Commons attribution license. He could have chosen a much more restrictive one, but the attribution license is one, and that means people may use your stuff as long as they give you attribution. Good. Yeah. I don't know if you know this, but um, like uh, sites like YouTube and Vimeo now have that as one of when you upload a video, that's one yeah. of the options that you can go through there and now select your Creative Commons. And Google, like Google images. images has that too. If you do yeah. an image at Google Images, you can select the kind of rights that you want, and it will only produce results that are licensed under, a, for example, a Creative Commons license. It's really yeah. cool. Yeah. Okay, I think we're about done here. Copyright tricks. We talked about this. Copyright is not a verb. Circle C does not mean what you think it means. And registration. Oh, I'll c conclude with this. In order to be able to sue somebody for copyright infringement, you do have to register with the Copyright Office. But anybody remember how much a patent costs? Eight thousand. Guess how much it costs to register a copyright? Thirty-five dollars. No zero, no decimal point. Thirty-five bucks. So when you take a photograph, so this weekend when you take a photograph, if you want to have a remedy in case somebody steals your photograph and uses it without your permission, you would need to upload a copy of that photograph to copyright.gov and pay thirty-five dollars. At that point, you have a registered copyright, and you may sue infringers for copyright infringement. Immediately. Do you have to register before the infringement happens? You do not. You have to simply register before you file the lawsuit. Okay. Yeah, so you don't have to register 10,000 photos. You register the one that you're going to go first. Very good. That's right. But there, there's a penalty, though, if you haven't registered before the act of infringement occurs. You are incented to register before the act of infringement occurs. Because if you don't, and you register after the act of infringement occurs, as a general rule, when you file that lawsuit, even if you win, you will not be able to recover from the other side your attorney's fees back. So you'll spend a quarter of a million dollars with your attorneys. Even if you win, you can't make the other side pay you back that quarter of a million. Had you registered timely, you could. So there is an incentive to timely registering your copyrights. Or, say, you know, 10,000 photographs. Each of those is registered individually, or? No, you, no, you put them in all into a book. 